Hey guys, it's me, Hana Serame. Welcome to my blog. And today, I want to ask you a question. Why you should be the next Filipino national artist? Later on, I will answer that question. But before that, meron na naman tayong new lesson about two national artists. First is Ishmael Bernal. Critics have held him as the genius of Philippine cinema. He is a Filipino film director, stage director, an actor, and a screenwriter. He was born in Manila on the 30th of September, 1938. He is the son of Elena Bernal and Pacifico Ledesma. He studied at Burgos Elementary School, Mapa High School, then he graduated in University of the Philippines with a Bachelor of Arts in English. When he graduated, he worked with Lamberto Avellana's documentary outfit and proceeded to France where he earned his licentiate in French literature and philosophy. Later on, he received his diploma in film directing in 1970 at the Film Institute of India in Puna under the Combo Plan Scholarship. Ishmael Bernal directed and wrote his first ever film, Pagdating sa Dulo, in 1971. The film captures and prefigures the many facets and realities of the Philippine movie industry. The film Pagdating sa Dulo won for the FAMAS for the Best Screenplay Award. Among his notable films are Pahiram ng Isang Umaga in 1989, Broken Marriage in 1983, Himala in 1981, which chosen as the best film from Asia Pacific of all time by CNN Viewers Choice Award. City After Dark in 1980 and Anal Sa Tubig in 1976. He was recognized as the director of the decade of the 1970s by the Catholic Mass Media Awards, four-time Best Director by the Orian Awards, and given the Asian Culture Award in Communication Arts in 1993. The next artist is Manuel Conde, also known as Ventriloquist with dummy name Kiko Toloso, and for his One to Mod series, which he lambasted and made fun of the politicians and society's ills and foibles. Manuel Conde was a Filipino actor, director, and producer. He was born as Manuel Urbano on October 9, 1915, and his son is television comedian Jun Urbano. Manuel Conde made his first film, Mahiwagang Violin, in 1935, and later signed a contract with LBN Pictures, where he made almost three dozen films, both as an actor and director. Manuel Conde also used the screen name Juan Urbano during the 1930s. Other movies Conde produced, directed, and starred were Ben de Cristo on 1948, Principe Paris on 1949, Cruz na Kawayan on 1956, Chete Infantes de Lara on 1950, Molave on 1961, and internationally acclaimed Genghis Khan on 1950. Genghis Khan was the first Filipino film to be acclaimed at an international film festival in Venice in 1952. Manuel Conde was honored posthumously in 2006, the Presidential Medal of Merit for Films for his contribution to culture and arts. In 2007, he was awarded posthumously the Lamberto Avellana Memorial Award by the Film Academy of the Philippines. It is truly inspiring to know these contributions that they made in film industry. Now, I'll be back to the question why you should be the next Filipino national artist. As a Filipino citizen, it will be both an honor and privilege to be awarded as a Filipino national artist because it is difficult to be included to the list. Selected people only are the ones who are chosen to this award. You must have contributed a piece of work that awakens the Filipinos' sense of nationalism. They seen as the counterparts of our national heroes. Even, even it is not easy to be the next Filipino national artist, the benefits and privileges are plenty. You will not only be known, but also you will be you will inspire others to pursue the title.
Now, are you ready to take a risk and be known nationwide for your contributions to our country? Again, I'm Hannah Serame. Thank you for watching.